Hey guys, welcome back to Clovis Creek on Medicine Farm. Look at that. Someone is running up on top of the shed. Uh, we're almost into harvest, our early harvest season from our fall crop that we planted. Winter crop is up and ready to go, almost. Almost ready to go. You can see, look at all the golden fields here. This is early summer. Good, good, good. Now, minor problem, minor problem. Well, we ran into some, some rain. I'll show you that in a second. Uh, we need to wait for things to dry out. We got a couple guys who are waiting for this stuff to dry out. Let me show you what we got going on here, guys. Let's do this thing. Bitter batter. All right, so we've got a rental harvester ready to rock and roll. We're up here over on the old pasture field that we built. Uh, just waiting, guys. Okay, we got some rain on the corner here, a little bit wet. Let me just take a quick look at the moisture content we got here. And we're sitting at 21%, so we need to get that down under that 20 percentile mark before we can thresh. Um, yeah, no combining yet. Getting close. We're so close. Maybe in the next 15 minutes? Maybe? I'm hoping? I really want to get these done. We need to get these replanted, like, now. We need to get them replanted for fall. There goes the train down there. So I'm going to get these fields done as soon as we have a chance to get in there. Uh, we got uh, Farm Boy and we've got Stevio from Squad Farms is here somewhere. Somewhere. I don't know where he went. But I think we're going to get some more equipment out here. Get some work done. I know we're going to get another combine. Let's see if we can get maybe an auger wagon. Let me show you what else we got going on here. Farm Boy's bought his tractor up. The 8530 he's got. This is a really sweet tractor. This thing is is mean. It is so mean. Um, The arms are a little bit ridiculous, to be honest with you. It looks funny with those big arms on the front, but that'll lift anything, I suppose. So we got rid of our gravity bins, and we've gone to a truck with trailer unit. We've got a tractor trailer unit now. Just because the bins are such a pain. They keep on breaking the axles. We broke the axles on a ton of them. So uh, we've decided to get rid of all three of those bins. We've got the Wilson gravity trailer now. We need to get an auger wagon for it, though, as well. Of course, that's something we're going to have to deal with. But anyways, that's good to go. Everything else, guys, you pretty much have known. You've seen, if you watched previous uh, episodes here from the Farmsim Network, you know what we got. We still got the 80, uh, 83. Wait a minute. We got wipers. We got wipers going on in that thing still. We jump in and take care of that. Let's see. Where's my wipers? My wiper controls for this thing are where? Um, they're in here somewhere. Um, is it on the screen? Is that the wipers? I don't know what that one is. Is, is that the wipers? <laughs> I don't know where the wipers are for this. Someone tell me where the wipers are. Is it is it this one here? That's that wiper. Maybe it's that one. Is it that one? I think I found it. I found it. I figured out the wipers. Okay, good. So, wipers off. <laughs> uh, we need some more equipment, of course. Like I said, we need another harvester. We need to get out here for this. It's a big harvest as well as uh, that gravity wagon, of course, or the uh, auger wagon. Everything else is looking good, so you know what? I'm gonna go relax for, I don't know, hopefully 15 minutes and we'll get in the field. Hopefully these guys are ready to go. All right, guys, so let's take a quick look at our market and see how we are currently looking. Let's look at what our business is involved right now. Uh, you can see that we're up to 352,400 bucks. That looks fine and good. Mind you, we owe 1.7 mil, somewhere around those range, so, um, yeah, that money's good to have, but we don't have that much. Uh, 65 grand still sitting in our market. Let's see if we can get rid of some more product here. We still have some product to, uh, to get rid of. Import Export Center. And let's go to our warehouses and take a quick look. See here. Uh, we got nothing in Argentina. Oh, we don't, we don't know. We got some soybeans in Argentina right now. Let's see if we can get rid of those. We have a lot of soybeans, actually. 50,000. Let's see if there's anything to get rid of here. Make a little bit more cash. You know what? I'm just going to filter by soybeans and go. Oh, look at this. We can get rid of a ton. Let's go to town. Let's get some cash with us. So 46, 5, 3. Fill order. Nice. And look at the price, too. That's actually not too bad. 6, 8, 1, 9. Fill order. 2, 8, 8, 5. Fill order. Nice. All right. Let's go back to our warehouses and see what else we can possibly sell. So we're down to 25,000 roughly of uh, soybeans. All right. Greece, we've got 17,000 worth of soybeans. Let's see if we can sell some soybeans. Soybeans, filter results. Nothing there. That's too bad. Okay, we'll keep on trucking down. Netherlands has a whole bunch of soybeans. We have 50,000 of soybeans there. Soybeans, soybeans, soybeans. Filter results. We have, oh yes, look at this. And once again, we're up to the thousands here. That's great. Oh man, yes, yes, please get rid of that. We're going to start at the bottom, the highest pricing, and work our way up. One, two, nine, four, three. Fill order. 21041. 21041. Fill. Excellent. So we should be empty on that now. Oh, another bunny. Nice. Um, Import Export Center. Okay, so that's going to do it for that warehouse. That'll be empty now. I'm emptying out our warehouses today, guys. This is kind of crazy. 
Uh, Russia. Let's get rid of our Russia. A canola there, 12,000 it looks like. Canola. Filter, do they have any? Oh, they do too. Look at this. Oh man, let's just do 12,000 even. Let's see what happens. I know I can fill that much. I don't know how much we have left in Russia. That's the problem now. Uh, go back to our Russian warehouse. Where is it? We have 538 left. Let's see if we can get rid of all of it while we're here. Canola, 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 canola. 538. 538. Fill that order. Get rid of all of it. Oh, no, see what? That's the problem. I put too little in. See, it needs 11, 000, 1100 now. That was a bad move on my part. That sucks. Oh, well. Nothing I can do about that now. All right, back to our warehouses. Russia, US is empty. Venezuela is empty, and that is it. So everything else is empty. Uh, let's see what our finances are looking at. Look at that, 155, 100 grand there. We got 100 grand, that ain't bad at all. Sweet, all right, all right guys, let's take a quick look here. Uh, things are looking good, it's one o'clock. Let's just take a quick look. I think we are good to go. There we go, canola, 19%, it should be good now. Once it's under that 20 percentile mark, we should be good. Uh, Stevio is down at the shop, picking up a harvester with Farm Boy. And what else are we gonna grab? Let's get going though, we might as well get into work. We got a lot of stuff to do today. I have to get as much of this harvest as I possibly can. Let's go. So we got canola in this field. So I don't need to worry about straw. No straws happening here. Come on, let's go. And away we go. Nice. All right. Perfect. I'll just go around. Now, in order to dump this out, guys, we need to, uh, well, I need to come out of the field. Maybe it, oh, the, the arm on this. So this is actually Farm Boy's Harvester. This is not our combine. We don't own this one. Um, I think he's leasing it. I believe it's a lease. I'm not even sure, to be honest with you. It's got to be a lease. There's no way he's owning this yet. Uh, the combines are so expensive that we're all just leasing and renting, basically, instead of buying. Because it's just so expensive in order to buy these, these bloody things. So we're leasing them, and uh, we'll just have to get try and get use, as much use out of it as we can while we're leasing it. Anyways, it was nice of him to use, let us borrow it. We're helping him out. He's helping us out. Uh, he's using our planter and our tractors for a lot of his fields and we're just borrowing his combine for the most part right now so we'll see if we can get this fired up get through this field um now i've got to find a way to unload this now it's got a 45 foot head i believe the 645s on this the the out the pipe on the output on this is not very long in fact it is borderline not going to be able to do this without some finagling so i'm not quite sure yet we'll have to see i have not unloaded this yet We'll wait and see. Oh, come on around that tree. Don't oh, run into the tree. Sorry about sorry about that farm boy. I just kind of dinged your header up against there. It's a rental, all right, so it's okay. I cut that tree down. Um, yeah, the uh, we'll have to get to find a way to get the truck close to it. They don't have anything else. We don't have a, any kind of grain carts or anything right now. We just have the main truck. We're talking about doing an auger wagon. We'll see what we can pull together here. Um, but we've kind of messed our finances up a touch by paying off a whole bunch of liabilities. By accident. <laughs> by accident. Um, both, yeah, we both were uh, looking at our, our bank balance sheets and we saw a, a certain button that popped up and we're like, oh, well, what does this button do? And that's pay off all liabilities. Well, that was a half million dollars we had sitting in our account that disappeared towards our liabilities instead of staying in our account, which we had originally planned on keeping there. Yeah, not the smartest move. Not, not the smartest move. We wasted a ton of money just by paying. Well, it's not wasted. I mean, the it goes to the bank and the stuff we had to pay for eventually. Um, we've got a pond down here. Let's see if we can... I'm going to go straight through. Lift the head up. Hopefully we don't get stuck in the in the creek. Come on through. Drop the head back down. There we go. Nice. So anyways, we paid off the liabilities. Oh man, we're not getting all this stuff here. Let me kind of get all of it. See if I can just kind of crank it sideways and get it nice and slow. Oh, that's better. Okay, we got most of it, I think. Yeah, we did. There we go. Um, so we paid off most of our liabilities. We still, still owe about 1.6, 1.55 million um, in loans, which we're slowly paying back. It's going to take some time. I'm hoping that this spring harvest, uh, the summer harvest, the winter crop harvest, kind of gets us back down. I work, we thought we were going to be ready. I, without paying for our liabilities, our plan was to buy a combine. That's been pushed back at least until the fall, um, next harvest season. Yeah, we're going to have to wait and see, guys. We don't have a plan yet for that. We're going to have to see what we get for this. Uh, it's not... It's tough. It's not looking great. Like, all the money we've made, we pretty much lost. Well, not lost, but put towards back, paying back, which we didn't plan on. Accidentally paid that off, unfortunately. So one uh, one lap done, one headland done. That's 80% done. 
already already presenting this tank this is not the biggest tank on this so we're gonna need to bring this back now this is just the old horse pasture as well this is the or the old cattle pasture it's a pretty small field the grand scheme this is our smallest field in fact however we actually have bought in two new fields which i need to discuss as well with you but uh they're down by the tracks and behind us we managed to win an auction on that they're small fields got them for about 50 grand 40 47 49 thousand something like that at auction but went for fairly cheap now they're not big fields they're just going to be some bumper crops because there's some small crops we're going to put on there just to diversify our crops but it's just nice to get a little bit more land because well that's the name of the game uh let's see if we can get right up to the top there we go full oh, okay i'm going to drive this right on out and we'll go down and below i can't bring the truck the the truck and tractor up here there's not a I, if we had a longer pipe i could put it on the road and do it that way like that'd be an interesting way to load but it's not going to work so we're going to come through to the bottom here i'll go pull the truck out and uh, we'll do it that way oh, man this is not fantastic guys this is a bit of a pain to come through here every time we want to <laughs> look at that header so big to come and unload the truck this uh, harvester i'm not happy about this but whatever it is what it is let me go grab the truck which is in the garage and we'll unload We've got a brand new peterbilt nice looking truck max is out at like 51 miles an hour is the only problem now let's see how this unload is gonna work guys like i've got to like crank it right on in you can see it's not great it's gonna be an interesting like i don't know if we'll ever be able to do this on the on the fly just the way that my pipe is so small i'm gonna shut this off we'll leave it there and i can spin around it but you can see that we're barely able to reach like barely able to reach right now um that's not not great <laughs> that's gonna be a huge pain I, I foresee in the future we need to get an auger wagon we need our own combine and just wrap it up and away we go let's wrap that up and go 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 back out into the field a lot more harvesting left to go today on the fsn we got lots to do guys lots to do all right guys um so this is our loading we're back unloading again we've got farm boy is actually in the the bin making sure our, everything's dry he's just grabbed our new uh hall master look at that it's pretty in pink it, it's absolutely pretty in pink this was actually ordered out of um out of the stream uh this is uh <laughs> squad farm stream uh his stream decided they wanted pink so we got pink we got a pink harvester a pink uh hall master it's pretty i don't mind that it's good it's all good it's gonna, we're not going to lose it at least. You can see that thing from a mile away. Anyways, I got one more little pass left to do in this field. Uh, whoa, easy, easy, easy. Coming through, coming through, coming through. And uh, we'll be done in this, uh, the cow pasture at least. Let's see here. I got to make sure I go through the uprights. Right through the middle of the upright. Oh man, this is not. <laughs> Didn't get through even close. This driver and farm sim. Yeah, there we go. Nice. See, it's, it's a tight fit to get through there. A 45 foot header i don't know if i don't know if we if we measured that perfectly out but like that is not much room for uh for error there now there is a road i think i've shown you guys this before over on the right side there is a that you can see a gate actually right over there you can oh what i didn't grab that oh that's too bad anyways there is a gate over there you can go through None, nothing really fits through it like even the tractors i think little blue fits through there but anything with duels will not go through the gate it's so small so this is the reason we had to do that little road back there um unfortunately the trees are part of a, another whole problem that's kind of interesting yeah anyways anyways we'll finish this off and then we've got the uh, well the field actually is right in front of us here that wraps around our farm we gotta do that one next it's canola as well all right guys field is wrapped up farm boy's looking good there he's got some canola in that uh he's gonna help out now we're gonna jump into this field get through this We'll start right here. Let's see if we can get around the corner. And away we go. Nice. So this is a decent sized field. I may cut this into two sections. Oh, there we go. Actually, look at this. Jake's over here. Or Jake. Uh, Squad Farms is here too. We've got both of us in here. Nice. Look at that. We're both in here. We're working away. This is going to go fairly quick, actually, with two of us in here. He's got an S uh, 790. 45 foot head on that as well should be pretty quick for both of us to get through here at the same time then we've got the other field next door as well more canola more canola all the time oh man this is a lot of stuff going on today i like it all right guys we're almost full i gotta wait for farm boy to get up here there's no way i'm gonna get up on top 
Let's see here. We're going to stop right here because if I go around the corner, I'm going to be stuck and not able to unload. So uh, we're going to back this thing on up and see if we can get this thing into a spot where he can pick up from us. There we go. We'll see if he can connect in now. Hopefully he can connect in this way. Let's see if we can get him in. Nice. There we go. All right, we've got it. Nailed it. Excellent. Oh, we're getting shoved out of the way. <laughs> that was the CBO just pushing me right out of the way. He's good to go still. Nice. All right, we'll unload and then we'll just follow his suit around the back again. <laughs> it, it's not great, but it works. Oh, what a pain. All right, we'll keep on keeping on. Things are slowly getting done here in tandem. Look at that. That 790 is way nicer. It's so much bigger. This little this little harvester, guys, is just, just tiny. It's just itty bitty by comparison. There we go. It's funny, though. We do have a 45 foot header on. So I think um, it does the exact same amount of work. It's a smaller bin, mind you. So that's where we're kind of losing out, I guess. Uh, he's got a much bigger bin on the uh, the 790. It's okay. It's all right. I can compensate. I st it's it's all right. I, I don't need to have a compensation war over, over who has the bigger bin size. <laughs> I mean, this thing is doing the same amount of work for the most part. So uh, it, it, I'm not going to complain. It's all good. We'll see here. We got uh, almost one full row of the whole thing done. The top side's almost done. We'll have to go back up there. A couple more laps. But I think he started right here. Uh, Squad Farm started right here in the corner. Right at 80%. Oh, we got to unload our end already. Oh, that was close. There we go. He has to unload. I want to see if I can grow, grab this corner off and get it done. There we go. There we go. Nice. We'll get around him. And then we'll head on up. Wait for uh, wait for our truck again. And away we go. Actually, you know what? Our truck is going to be right there. I may just go unload that while he's grabbing the auger wagon. Auger wagons up on top. I'll go unload once once farm boy's doing that. That's fine because I'll have ninety percent. I'll be at about hundred percent by the time I get to the top here, anyway. So it's not going to make much of a difference. Yeah, that'll be perfect. Sweet. Get loaded right on in. Look at that. See, that actually works out pretty good for me because that's the easiest way for me to unload this thing uh, is to back up against it like this and have my header kind of facing the back of the trailer. But anyways, we'll see. It it it'll work. It's just not nice. You can't. We can't do this on the fly, unfortunately, with this setup. That is the one problem. And I don't think we have a longer uh, a longer pipe that we have an access to. So we've got to make do with what we got, guys. Anyways, it's doing its job. Twenty five percent left. Looks like I'll be getting back in. I still have a little bit of a, a row here to get to before before uh, Stevio gets up to me. So I'll get to that in time. It looks like he's cut a lot more to unload. There he goes. He's going. I'm going. We're all back and working again. All right. First field is completely done. Look at this such a mess oh man uh he's going to dump out looks like into the truck right now stevio is just ahead of me here he's already jumped into this field i'm going in right behind and uh we're gonna get back to work this is a little bit bigger field we still have i think our far field that one there is spencer tv's field right behind us they haven't made their way out to harvest it yet it looks like it's ready to go as well looks like they're on the same timing as we are which is pretty good but anyways so we'll uh get back around another big canola field guys this is going to be um I hope this is a good crop. We need some cash. We need an influx of cash after we paid off all our liabilities. <laughs> Guys, we're getting a really good yield off this, to be honest. It feels like we're going through canola pretty quick. Um, I mean, I do have a smaller bin than I'm used to, but it feels like we're uh, we're going, we're getting a lot off this. Even uh, Stevio on the S790 there seems to be going and loading pretty quick. I need to call, I need to call Pinky over here and get that grain bin back over here. Where is he? Where is he? I'm, I'm full again. Uh, 98, 89, 100, pretty much. Let's go a little more. Run a little more. Ah, there we go. All right, let's wait for Pinky. There we go. Pinky's got it. <laughs> the big haul master. Fantastic. Uh, makes me laugh every time. Looks so good. And three, two, one. Go, 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 go. Nice. We're loaded. Time to go. More to work. More work to do. And there he goes. He's got to go unload Stevio. Uh, we're going to get caught right back up here in a second. 
Looks like he's no, he's gonna be in my way. I'm gonna have to. I'm not gonna catch him anyways. I don't think. I don't think I'm gonna get up there. We'll see. We'll see. A little bit of a hiccup and back to work. <laughs> uh, Piggy's uh, he's he's fighting to keep up with us here. I'm surprised the the yield we're getting off this canola, guys. It's actually really good. We're getting a ton off of this. So hopefully, oh man, if uh, if we can sell this at a good price. This is really going to help us move towards being able to buy a combine. It could be enough. It could be, we could be in, we could be good. So I found out the Hallmaster is just a rental. We didn't buy that. We've got an option to buy one on the dealerships. I've been kind of trying to negotiate a deal with some dealerships. We'll see if we can get something out of one of those guys. Might be good. Take a look at that maybe later on. All right. Um, we'll see if he's going to go here. Get going. Yep. You're good. Get over there. Don't want to touch our tips. And there we go. Pinky's out of the way. And away we go. Back to work. All right, guys. Wrapped this up. Oh, there he is. We're empty. Uh, that is done. Let's grab this. We'll grab this one here. And unload. Excellent. Oh, let's see if I can grab this in here. This is such a pain, though. There we go. Nice. That is emptied off. Uh, that's the end of the fields, guys. We've got all three of these fields done. So we only have one big field left to still do. We may do that one later on. Emptied out. That is it. That's all. All the fields are done. Excellent. Thanks, guys. Well, that's going to do it for us today here on the FSN. We'll be taking care of the next field later on. But I hope you guys enjoyed our quick harvest, our, our canola harvest. Um, yeah, it's looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. If you guys enjoyed drop that like don't forget to subscribe of course don't forget to subscribe to farm boy and squad farms as always good friends of the channel here and folks we will see you next time this is clutch over and out